hi guys and welcome to my youtube channel if this is your first time please do not forget to like and subscribe so in the next in this video please do not forget to like and subscribe let me emphasize on that so in this video we are going to get the otp out but before we get the otp out there are some things i would like to point out to you now in the email the text content is returned as an html so, in order for you to get what we need, which is here, we can inspect this and see it's a paragraph, it, but it's true, right? That we need. In order for us to get this, we could do so many things. Yes, we could actually do so many things. We could use regex. Or we could collect the HTML and use the DOM parser object in JavaScript to return it as um, a, an HTML document, but that can be passed from a string. So we can use the JavaScript query selector to get the elements that we need. I will go with the, late, the latter proposition because regex is if i use regex it will be difficult to explain regex in one go to explain regex i would need a new playlist so i'm not going to do the regex uh, the regular expression way that's what regex stands for regular expression so i will not be using that i will use the dumb parser because i feel that is easier to understand for newbies so let's get into it straight away because we've wasted some time so um how do we get this we can get this by um, calling the if we say p don't show us the one td um, the td would not show us that as well So we will just find a way to look for it. Let me just look for something unique that I can use to identify it. Um, we will try this. Let me copy that and let's just get started. So now the thing that I want to do is we want to insert the OTP. So we can say insert the OTP okay then we do a callback function as usual yeah so what we need to call is the next command we wait for latest email I do not want to waste time on this where is it let me just copy the command so we say wait for latest email i remember that waiting for latest email requires an inbox id so we just put the inbox id that we've collected it will be here then we add the then method and uh, we let's collect this as a um, let's call this email let's call this email and um, we create the callback function and uh, we can say the email body yes equals to this yep and do and that gives us the email body so inside here i begin to create some very funny variables to use the dom parser um to use the dom parser um, object so i'll just create it here dom Parser. so this would afford me the opportunity to be able to collect what is inside the email body as a, as i want so i can manipulate it so i can say uh well who am i to refuse an automatic thing this is actually the syntax i'm going to use so i'm going to collect this 
Then the next thing is I can create a variable called OTP where I can now say document dot uh, let me I can't get it by ID so I can't get it if I can get if the whole thing had an ID I would have used its ID so let me just use the query selector so query particular selector and let's hope what I copied now not this let's hope this would work query selector this and um, the text content should be gotten so now that we have the text content there's something we need to do with the text content because it is returned as a string the next thing we now do is we insert it into the otp code the variable that we created so we now assign the otp that we just collected we assign it but we'll trim it trim means that it's a method on a string that can be used on on in almost all programming languages where you remove all white spaces okay so now that we've done this let's um test that we have it so we let's just do a cy log and see if it returns any otp code to us okay let's just test that but before we test that let's make sure we change some values here because it seems it has retained our value so the business name let's add one more thing to it the business id let's add one more thing as well what else do we need do we need to change i think that those are the unique values then let's add four here too so to make everything different so let's run this and see if it will get us the otp or our identification is different okay time of milliseconds is not defined so we did not define our timeout oh mm, let's quickly address that i think i i made a mistake there i did not um, assign the timeout so um let me quickly just address that in the commands here I should have created the variable called the timeout, which is equal to um, thirty thousand yep milliseconds. So this should handle that. Let's get back to the code and run it again and see. Oh, this time around, let's be sure that we have unique values as well. So um, where is it? Let's add one more thing now. Five change this to three and add five so we make sure that our values remain unique and um, let's run again and see so it goes nothing let's see it's trying to insert the otp let's see yeah did it work yeah it got the otp for us so now what we need to do is we need to insert the otp so on the page on mima page if we put this there and we add let's say a password right if we click on sign up um let's go back and just change some things if we click on sign up If we click on sign up, just wait for it. If we click on sign up, I want you to see how the OTP page looks. We have this. So it means that when we want to put into this, we have so many of it. So if we try to even check it, input, you'll see that uh, it returns five matches, all of them. So how do we now input into this? There is something called dot each in cypress which allows you to be able to loop through a list of things so that's what we are going to do right away and we are going to use that to 
easily get what we need so we'll just do cypress dot uh, get is impute that's the value right otp field so we're just going to call it otp field so we are going to say cypress dot um, let's write again dot data dot otp field and this time is each so each of it so what we are going to do is uh, we are going to get each of the elements so let's say each of the elements by its index okay so that is the way it is going to be and um, after that oh sorry i made a mistake here but it wouldn't have mattered i can actually work that way too but let's just put it together so i'm going to create the callback function and this time all i just do is um ah! <laughs> my, my tab has already gotten the thing i need for me so i'm just going to wrap because i wanted to use wrap then wrap would allow us to be able to pick each one of it and um check anything that we want to check on it then begin to insert the otp code by its index so it will just loop through it so at this point we don't need to log this anymore let us um, uniquely create again just to be on the safe side and let's just one two five this time change this to seven or something then change this to five as well so we have unique values so let's see if it will insert the otp code for us and um, from there we'll know what uh, we'll know our fit fingers crossed Let's see if we'll be able to do this success successfully. Okay, it's getting the OTP and it has been able to do it. So we've been able to complete our sign. -up. So that brings us to the end of this playlist. But what we can do, as you can see what we've done before with this list, we can easily just add our cucumber to this if we want to add cucumber and uh, create a feature file. So that can be easily done by just changing, uh, by just uh, making some few modifications, installing the right plugins and setting it up in your Cypress config. But like I said, I wanted this to be a short playlist. So in the second part of this playlist, I can use the Cypress plugin. So thank you for watching and put on the notification bell because this same playlist will be populated with the videos of Cypress plugin. We've been able to successfully use the MailSlot client. And in the second part of this same playlist, you would see the usage of uh, Cypress plugin. So if you've gotten this far and it has been helpful to you, please do not forget to like and subscribe. Bye-bye and see you in the next set of videos using Cypress plugin. Bye-bye.